Hey gang, Scott here. Well, it's been a minute since I've been on YouTube, right? And uh, I thought I'd return with uh, a Q&A video, you know, an ask me anything type of video. Because, uh, uh, well, I've been getting a lot of questions over the last month or so as I've been uh, on hiatus from YouTube, which, uh, which uh, well, maybe that's really the first question just to answer. Yeah, so I had this just unplanned hiatus from YouTube. There wasn't like a, a grand plan of I'm going to take a several weeks off from making videos and it, it just kind of organically happened that way. Uh, some of it was life stuff. Some of it was photography stuff, you know, on the photography side. Uh, when I've had time to work on photography things, it's been all about the book update, you know, the on one book that I've been working on, uh, you know, since the latter part of September into October. And on the life side of things, and life just got busy. Uh, I have a, a daughter who is a senior in high school, and we are in the throes of college application season, and so that's taking quite a bit of time. So, uh, so that's you know a couple of the reasons, uh, among others, as to why I haven't been uh, making videos. But uh, that is uh, starting to relax, and well, here I am uh, back again. So you can expect to see more videos from me as the future goes on. So the book, the new edition of On One Essentials, it's going very well. All the copy is written, all the exercises are designed, and the next step here is all about getting the graphics for the book done. Um, let me just let me just show you what I mean here. So I write all the text for the book first and put markers in where I need to add screenshots to better illustrate whatever section that book is talking about. And then when those are all done, they get dropped back in. And you know, here's an example of, of what a finished section would look like where the screenshots are filled in. So that's where I am right now, going through the text of the book, choosing the right screenshots to put in, and you know, I'd love to include more and more screenshots, but then you know the, the book almost becomes a collection of images as opposed to descriptive text because you know, not every screenshot can be a half-page spread or things like that. And you know the book would become you know 900 pages long, and that's just that's that's too much. So I need to be selective about which screenshots make sense, showing portions of uh, a section of the software as opposed to the entire screen, so it's readable. You can see things, all that sort of stuff. Once that's all finished, it'll be on to indexing, and that's something I contract out. I'll get the, the completed book to an indexing service. They'll go and make an index for it, and then the book will be done. So uh, you know the, the indexing part, that takes a few weeks as well. So if things go right, I'll hand that off for indexing, and it'll be uh, back to me before the end of the calendar year. And the ebook should be available then. The print book? maybe a few weeks after that. So maybe like, you know, early to mid January, because not only do I want to get the, the print book staged, I do my printing through Amazon, but I like to print a copy first for myself, take a look through it, make sure there aren't any, uh, you know, you know, obvious mistakes, you know, you know, misprints, things like that, where once you've made that print book, you know, you can't go fix it like an ebook, right? It's easy to fix an ebook. It's not so easy to fix a print book. So uh, that part will take a little bit longer, but now that's the story on where we are with the book update. That's a question I get asked often. You know, my, my cameras are seven years old. I've been using Sony a7R IIs for a long time. I, I just don't buy a lot of gear. And if I'd gotten this question two months ago, it would have been, I couldn't even tell you. It probably would have been something for more of the filming kit or, you know, a, a filter bag or something. But I did get a new lens and uh, it's on this camera here. It's a 24 to 105, uh, you know, Sony F4 aperture. And, and the reason I got it is I wanted a more versatile walk around lens. I mean, I certainly use it for my landscaping stuff. You can see I got the, you know, my covers on it, my uh, my filter rings on it right now, but I wanted a uh, a lens that was uh, giving me a little more reach than my 24 to 70 for just walking around and doing things. You know, I found that I've been doing a little more of that recently, and having the that extra, what is it, 30 plus millimeters, uh, 40, I guess, on that lens was helpful and uh, it let me do certain things that I would otherwise have to bring two of my lenses with. I, I do fear that uh, this lens will cause my 70 to 200 to be even used 
less than it has been already, which is already uh, very rare. Uh, but hey, you know that's 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 how it's going. But that that is the last piece of gear that I bought uh, sometime in. Uh, early October, I got that lens, and uh, it's 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 wonderful. It's very nice. It's not the newest uh, kid on the block. It's been out for a couple of years, but it's new to me, and I'm having fun with it. So this these kinds of questions, um, I, I tend to to categorize as you know, can, should, or will. And there's the the, the can I do a video? Well, you know, I mean. Not to get uh, pedantic about the grammar, but sure, I guess I'm, I'm capable of constructing a video that shows some technique. But it's more like, should I do it? And what I mean by that is, should I be the person, you know, uh, describing the particular technique or something? Uh, questions I get often are around compositing or, um, you know, removing the background on a person or, or things where they're more like portrait in nature. And um, I'm not a portrait photographer, so I might have some ideas about how to go do that, but they may not be the best approach. They may not be the simplest approach because it's just not something I do. I just don't do that very often. I don't do compositing work very often. I'm not, you know, combining uh, multiple photos to create, you know, um, like you know, like a movie poster kind of thing. Um, I might add textures. That's um, that's you know a little bit of layers work, but there's there's less in terms of um, you know cutting things out and selections and, and, and then, you know, doing, you know, drop shadows and stuff like that, where I, I'm just not the right, the right person. So like the, should I do that video? Mm, probably not. Then there's the, will I, and that's more of a matter of time. You know, I'm a one person show. And so I do have to be selective about what I work on because there are only so many hours in the day. You know, it's kind of as evidenced by, uh, by my absence from, from YouTube for the last several months several months, several weeks, boy, several months, that'd be, <laughs> that'd, that'd, that'd be a thing. Uh, but you know, for several weeks, I, I, I may not do a video directly on someone's question, but they may take the form of a series of videos. Like if you saw the masking series I did with on one's tools that ended up uh, coming out of a variety of questions I'd gotten over a bunch of weeks where there was, you know, kind of an ongoing theme. There was, you know, a lot of different masking questions like, you know, I think the way that I can serve this, where I can give value to, to folks like you, is let me do a series that describes the tools. And then you can figure out how to assemble them, use them to solve whatever problem you have for your project, for your photography. So um, when you do ask those questions, please you know, continue to do so. I usually at least respond with, here's an idea of how you could uh, solve this, even if it's not something I'm producing a video on. And it might take the form of a larger series of videos on YouTube that cover maybe the subject more broadly. That's a taste of some of the questions that have been asked over the last uh, last few weeks. And uh, yes, I will be back on YouTube here. I've got a, a few videos in the pipeline now, and so those will be emerging uh, quite soon. And, and I have been out in the field as well, and so I do uh, intend to at least put up one more uh, in the field, in post series before the end of the year. But uh, in the meantime, it's back to work on the book. I, 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 I want to get that project finished and, and get that uh, out and available to uh, the on one users in the crowd here. So uh, that's going to do it. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this little insight into what's been going on in, in Scott's world. And uh, I'll see you again really soon. Have fun.